Good evening, and thank you all for coming to support St. Ambrose Academy tonight. When I first started working on this speech, I was asked this question. What comes to mind when you think about greatness? For me, I think about the expectations I have for myself. This was a big factor in our decision to come to St. Ambrose Academy. Before high school, I attended St. John the Baptist School in Wanakee, but they only go through eighth grade. My family and I soon faced the decision of where I should go for high school. We looked at a lot of different options and were torn by the decision. I was asked so many times why I didn't just simply go to the public school where I grew up like everyone thought I should. Nevertheless, in thinking about which school was going to help me achieve the goals I've set for myself, we kept coming back to St. Ambrose Academy. I knew I could get an excellent education and continue to grow in my faith, both of which are very important to me. Playing sports is also important to me. It's a part of who I am. Coming into St. Ambrose, I intended to play volleyball, but I had no idea what to expect due to the small size of the school. But I was able to play on the team in a position I would have never considered otherwise, which was the setter. Also, the teaming up of St. Ambrose and Abundant Life Christian School for Sports was a great way to meet new people. I made great friends from both schools, and even as a freshman, I had my entire team supporting me throughout my first year. I remember my first ever scrimmage with the team, not even a game, a scrimmage, and I was so nervous because I'd never played in this position or at this level. I felt sick to my stomach the entire bus ride over, but my coach kept reminding me that this was just a scrimmage, and my team would be there to encourage me no matter what happened. My setting partner, who's from Abundant Life, had also been thrown into this position for the first time, so we supported each other on and off the court. We had a Bible verse, Galatians 6, 2, carry each other's burdens, for in this way you fulfill the law of Christ. This reminded us to support each other through the ups and downs in our season of learning. Our team support carried us to win a regional game for the first time in over 10 years. By the end of the season, we'd become so close that I couldn't have hoped to play for a better team. Not only did I have friends that supported me throughout the volleyball season, they also helped me academically. On starting my freshman year, I expected the academics to be challenging, and I was prepared for that, or so I thought. Honestly, the transition from middle school to high school was a big step. Classes were very challenging and demanding to a level I'd not really experienced before. The homework load and test difficulty stressed me out at first, but I knew that the teachers were always available to meet if we needed help. Thankfully, I also had older friends who had taken these classes before and helped me through it. Some of them are sitting back there right now. Thank you for all of your support. When choosing a high school, faith was another major factor we considered. I thought that wherever I went, I would be able to continue living out my faith, even if it would have been harder at a public school. Now, I am so grateful that I have the privilege to be in an atmosphere where I can grow in my faith, especially through the sacraments, and take former years of religion class. In just one year at St. Ambrose, I came to a deeper understanding about my faith than I had any other time in my life. We studied logic, which is one of the three stages in classical education, for about a quarter of last year. I was always told that we could tell by reason alone that God exists, but I wanted to know how. Dr. Nielsen's religion class was the first to actually explain this to me. The knowledge and logic I have been given helped me understand what we believe in and why. I feel confident that St. Ambrose has given me the tools to defend my faith and witness to the love of the church. I know, however, that others aren't so lucky to have this opportunity. I have a non-Christian friend whose parents aren't religious, and she's really searching for answers in her life right now. She had some questions about the Catholic faith, and she asked to sit down and talk to me about it. At first, I was hesitant to talk to her because I didn't want to give her an incorrect answer or turn her away from the Catholic faith if I couldn't answer. These were serious questions. But as we started talking, I realized that I was prepared to respond and confident in my answers. At this moment, I understood and appreciated how much St. Ambrose was going to benefit me regarding my faith in the future. When I come back to the idea of expecting greatness and where I see myself in the future, I can't say I know what's going to happen. I'm still just a sophomore. For now, I know God has a plan for me here at St. Ambrose Academy. But in five, 10, 20 years from now, I will be able to answer why I'm at St. Ambrose, why I'm here tonight, and how God's hand has been in my life the entire time. The expectations of me at St. Ambrose are preparing me for the journey of greatness that God has created for me. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.